Deep beneath the waters of the Pacific Northwest, nearly 500 kilometers west of the Oregon coast, lies a massive volcano unlike any other on Earth, and it is waking up. Axial Seamount, one of the most active and intensely monitored volcanoes on Earth, is swelling again. Its massive summit rising millimeter by millimeter as magma forces its way toward the surface. Most volcanoes catch us off guard, but this one doesn't. In fact, Axial may be the only volcano on the planet that researchers can actually forecast with surprising accuracy. And right now, every instrument on the seafloor is telling them the same thing. An eruption is coming. Every 15 minutes, streams of data travel through fiber optic cables on the seafloor and shoot up to shore, giving researchers an unprecedented view inside the volcano's heartbeat. Every tremor, every shift in pressure, every whisper of lava movement is recorded and analyzed. But what happens when the seafloor begins to bulge and crack? When the magma reservoir reaches its breaking point, Axial Seamount is preparing for its next eruption, and the countdown has already begun. Many researchers now predict that the next eruption could occur by 2026, though some believe it may arrive even sooner, depending on the pace of inflation. Today, we're diving deep into the rising pressure beneath Axial Seamount, and uncovering everything you need to know about its fast approaching eruption. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Axial Seamount rises from the seafloor along the Juan de Fuca Ridge, a spreading center where new oceanic crust is born as the Pacific Plate and the Juan de Fuca Plate pull apart. Most mid-ocean ridge volcanoes are simple fissure systems, erupting basaltic lava in thin sheets. Axial, however, is far more complex. It sits on top of the Cobb Hotspot, a deep plume of hot mantle material that increases magma supply to the region. This combination of a hotspot and a spreading ridge creates unusually intense volcanic activity, making Axial one of the most productive volcanoes in the Pacific. The seamount itself is enormous, rising roughly 1,100 meters above the surrounding seabed, with a broad summit caldera that spans three kilometers across. Hydrothermal vents spew mineral-rich fluids around the volcano, creating entire ecosystems of tube worms, bacteria, and exotic microbial communities that thrive without sunlight. These ecosystems depend on volcanic heat, making axials eruptions essential to their survival. Unlike most land volcanoes, which erupt violently when gas-rich magma reaches shallow levels, axial erupts quietly and effusively. Lava flows pour onto the seafloor, sometimes traveling for kilometers through lava tubes or spreading in sheet-like layers. Because the volcano is under nearly 1.4 kilometers of water, the immense pressure suppresses explosive activity. As a result, even large eruptions generally pose no direct threat to coastal populations. Still, for scientists seeking to understand how volcanoes work, Axial is a natural laboratory. Its location, geology, and magma supply make it an ideal target for continuous observation. And for researchers trying to improve eruption forecasts, it is nothing short of revolutionary. Monitoring Axial Seamount has become possible only because of a bold scientific experiment, the installation of the Ocean Observatory's initiative's Regional Cabled Array. Completed in the mid-2010s, this network of seafloor sensors is connected by 900 kilometers of fiber optic cable that provide continuous power and real-time data transmission to shore. No other volcano on Earth is studied so intensively or so directly. The instrumentation includes pressure sensors that detect even the slightest vertical movement of the seafloor, tilt meters that measure changes in slope, seismometers that record earthquakes, chemical sniffers that measure volcanic gases, and thermal probes inserted into hot hydrothermal vents. The pressure sensors are particularly valuable. With them, scientists can measure the inflation and deflation of the seafloor with millimeter-level precision. Before each of Axial's last three eruptions, the seafloor rose steadily as magma fed into a shallow reservoir, 
After each eruption, it collapsed suddenly as magma drained away. This inflation-deflation cycle is the key to forecasting future eruptions. Even small earthquakes are visible on seismometers. Prior to the 2015 eruption, a swarm of more than 8,000 quakes shook the volcano as magma forced its way upward. Minutes later, the seafloor began to subside, marking the start of the eruption. The entire event was captured in real time. This level of detail is unprecedented in volcanology. It has allowed scientists to build one of the most accurate eruption forecasting models in the world. Axial Seamount's documented eruptions provide the foundation for its predictive model. The eruptions in 1998, 2011, and 2015 followed remarkably similar patterns, each separated by about 13 years, at least until the 2011 to 2015 interval shortened to just four years due to unusually rapid magma accumulation. The 1998 eruption was detected retroactively when researchers found fresh lava flows during a submersible dive. In 2011, however, the volcano erupted while scientists were closely monitoring it. The 2015 eruption was even better documented. The event helped confirm the inflation threshold model proposed by geologists William Chadwick and Scott Nooner, who showed that axial tends to erupt when seafloor uplift reaches a specific, repeatable level. This inflation predictability is rare. Few volcanoes behave with such consistent mechanical rhythm. But this does not mean axial erupts on a perfect schedule. Eruptions can occur slightly earlier or later, depending on the volcano's internal plumbing. But the correlation between inflation level and eruption timing is strong enough that scientists feel confident making predictions. Today, axial is closing in on that threshold once again. Since the 2015 eruption, the seafloor at axial has been steadily rising. By late 2023, uplift had already reached over 80% of the pre-2015 eruption level. Instrument readings from the Cabled Observatory have continued to show incremental rises in seafloor height through 2024 and 2025, bringing the volcano steadily closer to the conditions that preceded its last eruption. Seismic activity has remained moderate but persistent, which is typical during the inflation phase. Occasional earthquake swarms have occurred, though not nearly as intense as the swarm that triggered the 2015 eruption. The most critical indicator, however, remains uplift. Based on current inflation rates, several published forecasts now estimate that Axial may erupt sometime around mid to late 2026. This estimate could change if inflation accelerates, as it did before the 2011 and 2015 eruptions. Conversely, if the rate slows, the eruption window could shift slightly later. But the broad consensus is unmistakable. Axial seamount appears to be within a few months of its next eruption. When axial erupts, it does so underwater at significant depth, roughly 1.4 kilometers below the surface. Water pressure at this depth is immense, suppressing explosive gas release. This ensures that eruptions are typically quiet effusive, and dominated by lava flow. The eruption will most likely begin with an intense earthquake swarm lasting several hours, indicating that magma is forcing its way upward through fissures. As pressure sensors detect rapid deflation, magma will break out onto the seafloor, producing fresh basaltic lava. The new lava will quickly cool into glassy pillow lavas and sheet flows, creating new terrain on the seafloor. Hydrothermal vents may shut down temporarily as lava buries the vent systems, then re-establish themselves in new locations. Microbial communities will be disrupted, but within weeks, new life will colonize the fresh volcanic surfaces. Coastal communities on the U.S. Pacific Northwest are considered safe from direct volcanic hazards associated with axial's eruptions. In short, the next eruption will be spectacular for science, but largely invisible to the public. It might be tempting to dismiss Axial as a curiosity, a deep-sea volcano with little direct hazard to humans. But its importance goes far beyond its remote location. Axial is, in many ways, a testing ground for understanding larger and more dangerous volcanoes. 
Eruption forecasting remains one of the most challenging tasks in geoscience. Many volcanoes, such as Japan's Mount Fuji, Italy's Compi Flegre, or the U.S. Cascades, threaten millions of people. Yet their internal processes are difficult to observe, and modern instruments cannot easily track their underground movements with the same precision as Axial's network. At Axial, however, scientists can watch magma accumulation in real time, observe how pressure changes correlate with seismic activity, and directly measure the inflation level that precedes eruptions. Each eruption becomes a controlled experiment. Each cycle strengthens predictive models used globally. It is a keystone volcano for modern Earth science. Whatever the exact date, the next eruption will mark a new chapter in our understanding of submarine volcanism. Scientists will track the event from its first seismic tremors to its final lava flows, collecting data that could reshape how eruptions are predicted on land. Axial Seamount may lie beneath dark waters, hidden from human eyes, but its story is one of the most significant geological narratives unfolding on the planet today.